Uh, welcome to D365 Insights Hub. This is the very first session related to the customer service workspace in which we are going to briefly uh, discover the functionalities, not discover, but define the functionalities of the customer service workspace and define how it is different from customer service hub. So customer service workspace is one of the applications that is specifically designed for the agent in order to increase the productivity uh, in the cases handling and the queries handling of the customers in their daily uh, ongoing tasks. So uh, if I come to first uh, differentiate between the customer service hub and customer service workspace, the main differentiation is related to the session. So customer service workspace uh, supports multi-session under one screen eliminating the need for opening multiple tabs and switching between those tabs in order to resolve those cases. So there might be some cases um, or scenarios in which a, a user in which the agent might have to wait for 10 minutes, five minutes, let's say, uh, to get the response from the customer in order to proceed forward. So in the meantime, the agent can uh, switch to another case and understand the prerequisites, what is the problem, and what are the next action steps that he can prepare in the meantime while he gets the rest of the information from the other client related to the related to an other case. So in that case, the agent has the flexibility to open different sessions while remaining in the one uh, in one single. Uh, interface. The agent can open multiple sessions and within the within each session, they have the privilege to open multiple tabs also. So let's say if I press shift and click on any of the case titles, so it will help me create a new session re regarding that case. Uh, or if I want uh, to open a different tab within my first session, let's say, so if I press control key and click on any of the customers, it will open up a new tab for uh, that specific information. It will open and within that same session without any need to move to uh, navigate between the tabs in the browser. So this is one of the this is one of the cases like let's say an agent can open a case here and regarding the case the account details and the contact details can be opened here in the same session or in the different sessions uh, different cases can be opened. So this is the very first screen that I come across uh, when I log into the system or the application. So this is the customer service agent dashboard that I'm. Uh, that as an agent it would be visible to me, but uh, we can switch between the dashboards uh, if we want to have a, a deeper insights into what is going on currently. So we can see how many active cases are there uh, that are assigned to me and that are worked upon by me. How many are the resolved cases? What is the uh, what are what is the total number of cases count? So this. This can be done the switching between the dashboards to get a more uh, precise view or the view that I want to see. I can get that by switching uh, across the various views of the dashboard that I have available here. Uh, then if I scroll down, I have two different subgroups. One is for the cases available to work on and the other one is the my open activities. So in this grid, uh, the cases available to work on subgrid, uh, I can have multiple cases um, listed over here. However, if any one of them has been um, assigned, like the work by has been assigned to that case, then from this queue, that case move towards move towards the uh, open activity subgrid of that specific agent. Uh, to whom it is assigned or worked by a part. And then uh, there is the my open activity subgrid in which I am able to capable of saying, OK, what are my open activities? Like uh, I, I can see I have one email open, one service open, one service activity open and one task open. 
So these are the subgrids that I can view in my customer service workspace. Besides this, I have the as an agent. The, as an agent, I have the privilege to view the other items as well. Uh, as you can see, I can see the customer service history, the cases, the queues, the activities, the contacts, accounts, and many more. Uh, if we come down. Then besides this home, we have this inbox and within this inbox. We have multiple views like my break items, closed break items, open work items. So these are all the views that I can uh, that I can choose and navigate between to look at my desired results. Then on the very right hand side, uh, I have so I have this productivity page. It's pilot. There is smart assist, agent scripts, and knowledge search. So here I can see the knowledge articles. So if I select any of uh, the case for which the knowledge article is published, and in the up upcoming month or in the upcoming week, uh, I believe the same case because of the generalization of that case, the same case is going to arise again. So I can have uh, these knowledge articles save, let's say the integration flow or something related to the integration flow cases. Um, reopened or has been opened by another customer. So. As an agent, have, I would have this knowledge search. Uh, I would have this article and based on whatever the steps for resolution are defined, I can follow them and quickly resolve the uh, case that is similar to this one. Then I have this co-pilot feature which I can use to increase my productivity as an agent. The smart assets to provide suggestions on the knowledge articles and similar cases in order to help me out in resolve in reducing the resolution time and then there is the agent script and one more option uh, is available uh, which is not configured and that is of Microsoft Teams. So this is the front end view as an agent uh, and for and for those who are seeking to learn how this application really works. So this is the front end overview, but at the back end there is a lot of a lot of configuration uh, available that an admin can do or a consultant can do in order to customize, personalize. I would not say customize, but rather personalize the views for the agents. So let me quickly move towards the uh, customer service admin center application in which I can change the configuration for customer service workspace application. So as I scroll down, I have an option here available under this agent experience. Uh, there is an entity for the workspaces and under that uh, I have the option of agent experience profiles. So agent XP under each agent experience profile, there are multiple options available. So I have I can create a new one as an admin if I want to create a new profile for three to four different agents uh, or I can use the similar one and assign you to it. So I'll move forward with the already created one. Uh, as you can see, there are different users. There's only one user assigned to it, but I can assign more users to it. And then uh, below that, there are four, five different subjects. Uh, each I'm going to explain um, briefly. So the entity session templates define. OK, what should be the template for uh, each session? Like how my session, how the session for the agent might look like. So we can create and create new sessions also by clicking on this new by by clicking on this add or create new entity session template, or I can add the existing ones by uh, choosing this add button. So I can add those templates to this profile or I can create a new one and then I can just close. So this actually defines how as an agent, how how uh, would be the session? How would the session look like 
what will be the user interface for of the session like for the agent then I have the custom. Then I have the productivity pane separate. Uh, this productivity pane uh, configuration actually allows us to configure this pane that you can see on my right hand side. So if I go uh, back to my customer service admin center, uh, as an admin, I can just turn this productivity pane off and, and if I save and close, I can see the results uh, that impact my user experience as an agent with the application. So as you can see, uh, I would not have any access to that productivity pane if I turned it off. So upon turning it on, uh, I can I can turn it on and I have the option to use any of these productivity tools like I, I have the option to switch off the agent scripts. Or switch it on, then I have the knowledge search team chats, join a team call and all of these can be uh, configured. So if I turn it on and save it and close it, then um, it would show me it would allow me to um, open the productivity pane and choose any of the options that i re require as an agent then okay so next is the inbox uh separate which can be added in, uh and in which i can add new views for the inbox or I can edit the existing ones as well. So I'll go with the with editing the existing ones. So as you can see, uh, for this specific view, I have chosen the report type as case. I can choose among the three, which is which can be the email, which can be case, or which can be task. But I can, but I have chosen case. So after that, I can uh, change the setting types if if I want simple view for this inbox. Or I want advanced detail view for this inbox and within that I have uh, I, I can choose uh, any of these to be displayed like the resolve work items assigned to me has been chosen for this because this displays the closed work items or I can choose any of them based upon what I have I want to define as a view and then there is a section for customer software view, custom software view which I can turn it on or turn it off. Uh, let's say if I want in that view uh, the cases to be sorted by uh, case title, I can just choose case title and based upon that I can choose the sorting order. So currently it is uh, it is set on the modified one. So as you can see uh, in the customer service workspace application, the closed work items uh, that I'm able to see are sorted based upon the newer to older criteria. So these were like uh, modified on uh, 11th of December. So following 11th of December, then the newer ones are on the top, while the older ones are at the bottom. As you can see, newer to older sorting criteria. But if I change it from modified on to case title and the criteria from A to Z, so currently it's it's sorted by modified on and not by the alphabetical order for the case title. So if I do this and if I save this, uh, I can see the impact over the application um, over my you know customer service workspace interface and how as an agent I would be uh, having access to the information and how it will be sorted for me. So let's quickly move towards the closed work items to see the changes. Um, I, I think I would have to refresh it again because those changes were not predicted. So I'm back, and as you can see, the changes are reflected, and the soaring has been done by the case title upon the alphabetical order from A to Z. So uh, this can also be configured. Then there is an other subject for channel providers where I can define the channels that uh, I want to integrate the telephony channels, cloud based telephony channels that I want to integrate with my D365 model driven applications. 
So this part I'm going to skip it for now, but we can cover it in the ne next sessions. And uh, then there is an other subject for the co-pilot AI features, which can also be edited like whatever I want. I can just check it. Um, I can just check mark it and whatever I don't, I can just uncheck it and save it close. So this is it for the customer service workspace and how it can be configured for the agents to enhance the productivity and efficiency during the work hours. So I hope it has uh, provided you the required information uh, and enhanced your uh, knowledge regarding that. So uh, see you again in the next session with some other features and functionalities of the D365 application. So goodbye.